All right, so another day trying to stay motivated to work on this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure I said that I was gonna get a bolt to plug that hole in the uh, heater control valve, but I've ran it a little bit since then and nothing's come out of there yet. So I'm gonna hold off on that to see if like, maybe when it heats up it does it or maybe I have to actually turn the heater control or heater on or something like that for it to come out. If not, it's not a rush for me, so. We'll see. But later today, we're gonna be working on the hydraulics to see if we can get it uh, back running. So today, we're going to pull these batteries out, get some new ones, clean some of this stuff up. A lot of it's rust too rusted for now. I just wanna make sure that everything still works. And then uh, we'll check in and see if it does. So I was just out here, you know, pulling some of these bolts out for the, the tie downs and whatnot. I really didn't want to mess with these. And I remembered I had some of this battery cleaner. So I'm gonna try to spray this on there on all these terminals. See if I can get it cleaned up before I put a wrench on it. We'll see. All right, one side out so far. Yeah, this pump looks pretty. They have this. Probably gonna have to get cleaned up and just painted black. Let's see if I can clean the block up and leave it how it is. Same for that one. Probably the piston pump too. Dang it. Oh well. Let's All right, got both sides out now. Get the battery's out. Some down there. Two, four, five. One in the back. Sprayed some more of that battery cleaner on them and then dumped a bucket of water on them to try to clean them up. You know, try to not be a jerk to the guy that's got to pick these up next. Let's go get some new batteries. So I uh, went and got brand new batteries. Now I'm in here I'm trying to clean up these pumps a little bit. We'll see how they come, how they come out. Um, not too hopeful, but I figure that maybe I can at least clean them up a little bit and then repaint this rack, clean it up, wire wheel it, just to touch it up a little bit before I throw these batteries back in it. See how it goes. So I'm hitting these with uh, some WD-40 for now and trying the aluminum foil thing. You can see it's got some scratches in it, some scuffs, but um, it looks way better than it did before. Some of that might come out with like a polish, like a chrome polish, but we'll see. But like this pump looks way better besides the check valve and motor that I have to repaint or paint versus this one. So I'm going to try the same thing on both of them, get them at least, you know, somewhat cleaned up. But yeah, a little bit of WD-40 and aluminum foil balled up. All right, so far I uh, hit it with a wire wheel as much as possible to try to get the chunks and stuff out. I'm just gonna just throw a coat of paint on it just for now. Um, do some cardboard up because, you know, just clean those pumps off. Don't wanna get them messed up. And see, this is what it used to look like. This side's cleaned up, gonna get some paint. Do the same this side. Let's see what she looks like. All right, quick intro to Lowrider Hydraulics. We got the solenoids there. That goes to the motor right there. It's the 12 volt motor. Solenoids get power from the batteries. They're activated by the switch. That comes around, goes to the 12 volt motor. We got the block that has a pump head attached. This is the tank. It's filled with hydraulic fluid. There's a pump head in here. Motor spins is coupled to the pump head. Pump head spins, sends fluid up through here to the check valve, goes through the dump, and then down and around to the cylinder. And then, since this is in line, when this solenoid is activated, it releases the fluid back down through this line, past this slow down or flow control valve so that way you can tighten it or loosen it to uh, however slow or fast you want it to to dump 
and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's different types of pumps, different types of uh, dumps. That's a really good expensive dump for hopping, but um, yeah. All right, so I got uh, the rack cleaned up on both sides, wiped everything down again, threw in the batteries for now. This rack was set up for eight batteries originally, but I had it too close to the tail lights and they would hit, but um, I only plan on running six for now anyways. Um, Got to get my tie downs on or my hold downs, and then I need to also clean all of the... Um, the leads for the for the cables and stuff like that just to make sure that they got good connections um, and we'll see um, hopefully soon what this thing will this thing will still work we'll see all right so I got the batteries in and then I'm taking a look at my um, my wires here um, and it looks like I might have to redo them because several of them are just ate up so like that one, you know, this one's pretty bad. I mean, I could probably clean it and make it work just temporarily, but like this one's also pretty roasty. Um, this one's really bad. So, um, I don't know. I still want to just maybe hook it up just to make sure that the pumps or the motors are, aren't locked up and like the dumps still work, but I also don't want it to start a fire. So I'm going to think on that tonight and call it a night. All right. So we got this thing pulled into the garage a little bit. So I can stand on concrete instead of the dirt, have a little bit of light. But um, yeah, I got all this cleaned up last night and had to take a, a break because while well, I wanted to use a bunch of these uh, cables again, some of them are just way too, too far gone. So... Well, I do like the, I forget what gauge these are. Um, oh, they're too hot. Um, they're nice and thick, but um, a lot of them have seen better days. And then like this one here, I know, um, looks like it has arced out on something and it's actually split. So, went and picked up some uh, supplies, some, some more black paint high heat I'm gonna use that on the motors eventually and then just some white supposedly tough paint so I can re spray the battery hold downs also got got, got 10 feet of 2 gauge which should be fine um, especially just temporary and then I got the necessary ends for them they only had like eight ends though, so I don't feel like hunting around for some more. So I'll just do what I have here and see if we can cobble something together that'll work just to make sure that, you know, the solenoids are still working, the dumps still work, etc. So we'll see. All right, so far um, I came in here and I cleaned all these uh, lugs up and uh, put new hardware on them. I actually pulled the tape back on all of them, or the ones that looked like they had corrosion in them, just to see if it went back into the wire, and any of them that didn't go back into the wire, I just cleaned off and then re-taped them. So I was actually able to save a lot more than I thought I'd be able to. Um, I still have to make the main power one from here, but what I'm going to do is, uh, it's this one. Um, this one's plenty long enough though. I'm just going to go get another end for the 2 watt wire and uh, just reuse this piece of wire because there's no corrosion going into it. Um, so I'll just cut that off, put a new end on it, and then it should still be plenty long enough to, to reach here. So 
Hopefully that'll work. Um, and then it looks like the only other one that I had that I need to actually replace though is this one. So this one was pretty bad. Then it looks like it was, you know, into the, the wire. So, I mean, could I probably shorten it? Yeah, and I actually might try that. I might get, because um, this doesn't have to be long at all. I can cut it up way back here and uh, put a new end on it and it'll still be fine. It'd just be real short like that one is. So I might actually do that too. I'm not a fan of this one. It looks like I or somebody else just put it in a vise to crimp it. But I have a crimping tool now. I'm gonna go get those two from Tractor Supply and uh, try to use all these wire. And I guess I'll just save this two gauge wire for another project or something like that and those ends. So we'll see. All right. Put the 24 volt wire up for my switches. Everything else is tight. Try the ground again. Alright. Leave this out here. I'm gonna go and see what happens. Hopefully something works. Let's see here in a second. pretty good um both rears left and right pumps work dumps work i gotta adjust the slowdowns they're pretty uh pretty fast front pump is clicking i need to check these solenoids the dumps clicking the uh solenoids are clicking so one of these is probably bad, so I'm gonna check those out. All right, so one of the solenoids is bad in the bank of three that I had for the front pump. Um, I just took it out now and I'm running on two, which will work, but it's not technically as fail safe as possible. Um, so everything's working now. It does smell funny. Maybe that motor, uh, the front motor from just sitting. Um, but I'm gonna mess with it a little bit more and see if it uh, goes away or starts a fire, we'll see. Hit the front switch, tap it up. One more time. Up. Oh. All right, down. Down. All right, tap it up real quick, just quick. All right, that's enough. That's good, yeah, thank you. 